Batch normalization is a technique that can improve the learning rate of a neural network. It does so by minimizing internal covariate shift, which is essentially the phenomenon of each layer's input distribution changing as the parameters of the layer above it change during training. More concretely, in the displayed network, the second layer has an expected distribution of inputs coming from the first layer, and its parameters are optimized for this expected distribution. As the parameters in the first layer are updated, this expected distribution becomes less like the true distribution passed by layer 1. This is a problem because it can force some of layer 2's activations to saturate, which significantly slows down training. Batch normalization grants us the freedom to use larger learning rates while not worrying as much about internal covariate shift. This in turn means that our network can be trained slightly faster. In the displayed network, batch normalization is applied to both the first and the second layer with minimal modification from default arguments. Num features is a required argument that tells batch norm how many features are in the output of the function above it. In the case of layer 1 and layer 2 in the displayed network, this would be the output channels of their conv2d functions. Channels are equivalent to features, but channels is more commonly used when referring to image datasets as the original image has a certain number of color channels. EPS, or epsilon, is a value added to the denominator of the batch normalization calculation. This is just to improve numerical stability and should only be modified with good reason. The batch norm function will keep a running estimate of its computed mean and variance during training for use during evaluation of the network. This can be disabled by setting track running stats to false, in which case the batch statistics are calculated and used during evaluation as well. The momentum argument determines the rate at which the running estimates are updated. If it is set to none, then the running estimates will be simple averages. Lastly, the affine argument, when set to true, indicates the batch norm should have learnable affine parameters. The default value for affine is true.